intuition. I hope that you are having an amazing time, an amazing day. I surely am, okay? And honestly, to the beautiful souls that are watching this video, I know that when we look at these daily guidances, these channeled messages, this important message from your soul, from spirit, main focus of these important messages from your soul is you, okay? And I really want to take the time to thank all of you beautiful souls for all of the love, the adoration, the effort, the time, okay, that you give yourself <laughs> and it oozes out onto me. Oh my God, I'm just so thankful for every beautiful love muffin, okay? I truly, truly am. I want to get all sentimental here. <laughs> However, I want the beautiful soul that is watching this video, I want you to know that I see you. Okay, I see you every single day going after your dreams. I see you every single day making a conscious decision to push past your fears, to conquer your fears. I see you every single day making a conscious decision to live out of your comfort zone. I see you every single day overcoming, conquering whatever addiction might show up or what you used to struggle with. I see you every single day when you fall, you're making a decision to get back up and keep going. You are seen, you are heard, and more importantly, I feel you, I understand you, and I am so proud of you. So in this moment, whenever you are watching this video, that is when it's meant for you, I want you to celebrate you. You are in alignment, baby, with your truth, with everything dear to you. You're walking your path. Okay, and that, my love, is a beautiful thing. Something that we should just naturally be in. You would not believe how many people are scared of their truth, afraid to walk their path, afraid to dare. And we send them light and love because if doesn't anybody understand what that looks like to be afraid to like really live your truth to really dance with your dreams Tori understands okay <laughs> you understand so sin light and love but I want to let you know I'm so very proud of you so very proud of you okay and there is a beautiful message that the divine wants me to share today. And I am so honored to be the person to speak this into your life. I'm so honored to be on this journey with you guys. I will never not stop telling you this. I will never not get tired. I was reading the comments from the monthly spiritual guys. I think it was in Pisces. And someone was like, wow, it's crazy. Like how so many people can be like, like be in alignment and be experiencing the same thing in different parts of the world. And I told, I was like, right, like spirit will always amaze me. Like I can never just, I can never get comfortable <laughs> with spirit. But I want to go ahead and just get into this message. And what spirit wanted me to talk about is the power of choice. Okay. I feel like your soul really wants you to know that you have a lot more say so in your life, what you create, what's going on, how you react or the outcome, than you believe you do. Okay. You have a lot of more power in your choice. Every choice, every decision you make, every choice you make is leading you somewhere. Okay. And what I really feel <laughs> on an intuitive level, what spirit is wanting you to know is that you have endless possibilities. 
You can have, you can create, you can do whatever it is that you want. You are literally the person that is writing the next step. And the thing about it is, no matter what you're looking at, okay, it doesn't matter if it's beautiful, if it's, you know, sub, sub, just full of life and just full of everything you've ever desired, okay? Or if right now you're in a season in your life where it's like, you know what? Ooh, it's kind of tight. <laughs> but, in, you know, there's an energy around you for whatever reason letting you know that, you know, there is more for you. There's better for you. There's greater for you. Keep going, you know. Your intuition is speaking to you. And right now, you're having to make a decision. You're having to make a choice. The choices and the things that you do right now in this moment, okay, to break up with fear, you know, to forgive, to move on, to move forward, to let go of the past, to open up, you know, to the universe, to open up to what's next in your life, okay, to embrace the change. All of these are choices, choices. And each of our choices will dictate how a story unfolds, okay? One of the things that I had to realize, and I'll bring it in even closer um, home, <laughs> um, my niece, okay? I love her, Anaya. She's a Leo. She's not gonna mind me talking about her, what Leo really minds anybody talking about them. But one of the things that I'm realizing, I've watched this beautiful young lady blossom and mature and change, okay? In so many ways. And mind you, she's only 15, okay? But I realized where... Um, you know, when you're in that, we all were teens at one point in time, <laughs> you know how school goes and you know, you have the mean girl click and the good girl click and all these kind of clicks and all these things that you can get tied up in. And, um, I feel like in my household, um, I grew up like with a, with Christ, Christianity beliefs. Okay. So you know what that system looks like. However, in my sister's household and just what we have installed, you know, installed in them. And then they, we give them the, the, the freedom to choose what it is, whatever it is that you want. But the, the thought process that I see all them going is they believe in the law of attraction. I've seen my niece manifest over $2,000, $3,000 and she ain't got no job. She manifested an iPhone, iPhone 10. I've seen her manifest different little things. She, she, like, she is very... Well, I'm sorry, guys, the bird just literally a white bird just flew through, flew past my window. Um, you know, she's a mighty manifester and she's really aware because at 15, I ain't know none of this. You get what I'm saying? So like she has become aware of, you know, um, her choices whole weight, you know? So I want to say like, you know, like average, you know, teens like are fighting and, you know, doing cer certain things, you know, she still has that, you know, those, those things surrounding her. And, you know, before she used to give into that, but when she really started to take, you know, realizing that her choices in her, that she's the creator of a reality and her thoughts play a part. And, you know, she listens to her affirmations. I'm, I'm seeing this whole entire switch in her life. Okay. And, um, you know, where she is mindful of where she places her energy and what she gives her energy to, even down to like her boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, the girl is, is pretty much a smart cookie. And I've, I watched her, you know, um, shed and, and move away from. She's very mindful of karma now, you know, and she's very mindful, like, you know, but even in a situation that was happening with, you know, with her in school, um, my niece used to, you know, really have. Um, low self-esteem. I watched her bloom as a butterfly, you know, such a beautiful young girl, but just really didn't feel that way. And I, me and her mom pumped affirmations in her, you know, talked about the law of attraction. You know, I've counseled her on several events and I'm, I'm watching her bloom and just really be who she is at her core. Where, you know, of that, her choices hold weight in the decisions that she make and what she chooses to feed her energy is what's going to grow. And I watched her where she used to feed her energy to watching, you know, fighting and just it's all kind of just whatever and entertaining, you know, just that whole, you know, you know, this, that gener this generation, <laughs> F boy, whatever kind of situation. And I watched her attract all kinds of situations and things like that. Wanting her to learn, you know, because it, wanting her to see it for herself. You know, sometimes, you know, these choices, we go down roads <laughs> that are not ideal. And um, having to let her experience that, 
And I watch her change her whole mentality and, you know, move away from stuff that that is not pleasant, move away from things that, you know, like trigger her and, and just not not to feed that trigger that that poison, but more so give it things that's going to nurture it. And that's going to, you know, help it move away. OK, take her out of that vibration. I've watched her do that with her life. I've seen situations come where I know like the old her would have made a totally different situation. OK, and now she's cautious, you know what I'm saying? Now she's cautious. She's mindful of how she treats people. She's mindful of the things that she does because she knows that everything is a mirror and it will be reflected back and it will come back to you. I said all that to say this. Yes, in your life, okay, in past decisions and past choices that you made, it may have got you in situations that you didn't like, okay? Maybe not speaking up, not saying things that may have got you in situations that were not ideal, okay? And now, in this very moment, spirit wants you to know the choices that you make right now, the decisions that you make right now is here to rectify that, okay? You're planting a new seed right now in this moment. Your soil is fertile. Whatever you plant, it will grow, okay? Like that. You know, and I know, you know, um, some people, you know, because I, I read a comment and they were like, well, I want to be a millionaire. Like, why am I not a millionaire yet? My thing is this, whatever is potent in your energy, you get what I'm saying? If you believe that you are going to be stuck, unfortunately, my love, you shall be stuck. <laughs> okay. But if you believe, if you start to place yourself around, you know, people that are in that frequency or things or reading things, listening to things that are in that frequency, you're going to start to take on that, that emotion and repetition is the mother skill. The more that you hear the positive, the more that you heal, the more that you open up, the more that you expand, the more that you move forward, the more that you press on, the more that you allow, you know, yourself the more you will match up with that frequency, okay? So right here are some choices. Because as these cards, I was like, this is a lot of cards that fell out. But Spirit was saying, this is what's needed right now, okay? These are some choices that you, my love muffin, that is watching this video. And one of these cards, I kid you not, you're in here, okay? <laughs> it might not be all of them, but one of these cards are for you. There's an important decision that you have to make, okay? These are some choices that you have to make. When you do this thing, you are going to open doors beyond your wildest dreams. That's how you open doors is by the choices you make. All right, so for the first choice <laughs> to one of my love muffins, okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? The number of love, your passions. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we have six doors here or six choices to make. Six doors that you can make, right? A decision to walk through, okay? And see so much beautiful change in your life. This is six, right? One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and go to the first door. So the first choice that someone has to make is to open up to unlimited potential, okay? Someone needs to know that the sky, like you can go beyond the sky. You see this gi giraffe here? Okay, it's all up in the clouds. It's time to really take the limitations off of yourself, off of what you can create. It's time to step out of the box that you have placed yourself in and realize there's nothing that you can't have, okay? Make the choice today to say and really embody this energy, okay? And start taking the actions and the steps that you're being guided, you know, to open up to, I choose to live a life of my fullest potential. I trust that this will draw me towards experiences and people that support my growth and accomplishment. Tuning into this frequency, I now reach higher heights than I ever thought possible. Knowing that's an option, why would I ever tune into anything else? I'm looking at you, smooth jazz and talk radio. Listen. It's time to tune out, you know, what, whatever is keeping you from unlimited potential, tapping into your potential. You are never stuck. You can go as far as your beliefs, whatever you can imagine, whatever you can muster up, whatever you believe is what will happen. If you believe you're the baddest, you're the baddest. If you believe you're the smartest, you're the smartest. 
It's unlimited potential. And somebody needs to just make a choice to tap into that. To stop holding yourself or, you know, holding your holding yourself under. Okay? Allow yourself to float all the way to the top, past the sky, past the clouds, <laughs> okay? To wherever it is that you want to be. The choice is yours, okay? So that's the first thing. You know, now, another thing for somebody, okay, to make the choice, okay, <laughs> we have communication. Wonder how the other person's feeling? Ask them. Wish they knew how you were feeling? Tell them. You've just been drafted into the communication army where there is a strict do acts and do tell policy. Speak with kindness and gentleness and reach an understanding. If you don't, okay, assumptions will just make asses of everyone, including the person who came up with this. <laughs> Listen, this communication, okay, is key in all factors. Whether you're talking to a person or you're talking to the universe, talking about the divine with your dreams, with a situation, communication is key. It's time for you to communicate yourself and you can do it in a gentle and kind and loving manner, but nonetheless, speak your truth, <laughs> okay? Speak your truth. For too long, your voice has been silent. And spirit is saying, make a decision to make a choice and speak your truth. Make a decision to communicate your truth. So what if people think you're a fool? Oh, uh, okay. That's their opinion and they're entitled to it. You don't have to let it become your reality. You were talking to someone for 28 years. Did I do a tweet because I'm 32? <laughs> and I think for like 29 years, I was telling, I was telling my, I'm, I'm saying me and my, my niece, like we have these lifelong chats. I was telling her and I'm always letting her know because I see it. Do not let anyone's opinion of you define you. Okay. Do not let anyone's opinion of you define you, you define you. Because for 29 years, you're talking to someone who allowed people's opinions and views and what should be and what shouldn't be shaped her life. And I was fucking miserable, suicidal. Okay. I don't know. I think I haven't really shared it, but I'm going to share my story of how I even came to this journey of great awakening within myself. My sister came and got me. I was going to commit suicide. This was after my my marriage had ended, you know, and um, I had found out that my ex-husband at the time had cheated with my best friend, you know, and I was done with life. I had just stopped working. I had shut down. I wouldn't leave the bed. I was, I was done. And my sister said spirit showed her a vision and she came and got me from, you know, came and got me from my house. I had to move in with her. All right. She taught me feng shui. She taught me the importance of reflecting in tea time, you know, doing nature walks. You know, at first she showed me crystals. I was like, what are these rocks? You know, I was just so like, what are we doing here? You know, we used to journal. She had taught me how to get in touch with my feelings. I used to be like, what the f are we doing? Like, I was like, ah, you know, she showed me all the greats. You know what I'm saying? Took me to all the people, like all, all of the motivational speakers, like Tony Robbins, like we, we were doing exercises with him. It was crazy. Like, you know, but I'm so thankful for that moment, you know, and I finally confessed and told her the truth. Like I was going to commit suicide. And she said, I seen that. And that's why I had to get you out of the house. And since that day, I've never looked back and I've kept going. Do you understand me? I kept going. And then even in the midst of that, you know, I was good by myself. I had built it up, but then I got introduced to church and then, you know, that kind of went left, but I had to go through that spirit experience too. So I was like, uh, uh, you know what? I, I feel I am better in control of my life. And somebody needs to communicate that you are, you are better in control of your life. Communicate your emotions. I said, I made a sound decision. Like, listen, don't nobody control Tori. Nobody. You understand me? I take full responsibility, responsibility and accountability for my life. God has entrusted me with when I came here. Okay. I have a whole heap of guys, angels, soul, family. 
the divine, I'm, I'm good. Okay. So when I don't make the right decision at times, I got a whole team physically and in the spiritual realm, you know, able to help me connect. But I had to communicate that I had to get stern and had to say it with gentle love, like, yeah, this isn't for me. Good day. OK, and I feel like you have to learn how to communicate, make a make a decision today, communicate that take control of your life. I am honestly feeling that taking control of your life. OK, another thing that we have right here and right now, OK, it says make the choice today. It says ups and downs. I see life as an incredible ride. I'm lucky to be on it. Yes, the ups and downs make me want to puke sometimes, but they are also what makes things fun and interesting. And when you look back, even puking on yourself makes a good for a good story. So what I'm hearing right now, make the choice to accept the good and the bad and the in between, the ups and downs, understanding that everything goes hands in hand, understanding that anything thing can be used for the greater good of yourself and your growth and anything that you want to create okay out of the darkest places beautiful things will bloom I am a living testimony of that I feel like somebody needs to make a choice you know to accept it the yin and yang the cycle of life you're never stuck okay You might fall down, but you can always get back up. It's just a cycle of life and just understanding that coming like to acceptance with that for somebody. I really feel like when you do that, that's when it's going to make sense. That's when it's going to click. Okay. So also how to take back your power, how to really, you know, um, use your power of choice. And honestly, one of the things that I learned about ups and downs. Um, remembering that it's all about the way that you respond at times and just make, you know, what are you going to feed? All right, it's happening. It's going to happen, but how are you going to react to it? Also, my loves, one of the things that I learned about, uh, that I learned about ups and downs, um, certain things in life are going to happen. But it's all about your choice as as being how are you going to react to it? And your power is all in the way that you respond and how you react to the ups and downs of life. Understanding that everything that happens, you can use that to serve you. You can use that to push, you know, to push past. You can use that as a moment to really invoke your power. And that is something that I had to learn and not only learn, (laughs) that is something that that I had to, had to really put that into action recently, you know, where I had to make the decision. Okay, this is happening. Am I going to feed it? All right. What am I going to do? This is happening. How I react, what I do is a seed that's going to be planted. What do I want to sprout up, you know, later? And I want to let somebody know that's not the easiest thing to do when you're going through a financial crisis, when you're going through a heartbreak, when you're dealing with a death in the family, when you're dealing with a a great shift, when you lose your job, there is, there is certain things that will happen, you know, and you can automatically automatically choose, you know, to invoke those energies, those lower energies, or you have to make a choice to come up. Like love muffins, that's a choice that you have to make right there. That's a choice that you have to make to embrace the ups and downs and understanding that how you respond, that's your power. What you feed, what you give it, that's your power. Next for my love muffins, okay, um, to really invoke your power, you know, um, and just to really open amazing doors in your life. Right now, we have courage. So your choice is to choosing to be courageous, okay? Um, I want to read this card because I love the way that they say it. It says, no one is fearless, no one. But even though I'm not fearless, I am courageous. When fear shows up, I don't run away from it. I use my courage to conquer it. My courage allows me to walk right up to that fear and kick it in the nuts, then quickly hide behind someone bigger until it goes away. So I really feel like this is you tapping into your courage, okay? 
you being courageous about your life, you know, standing, speaking up for yourself, speaking up for your dreams. What is it that you want? I feel like having the courage to take control of a situation. Okay. Having the courage, the next card to forgive forgiveness here. It says, congratulations. You've been given one of the most powerful superpowers. There is forgiveness. Imagine that you've been bitten. Okay. By a radioactive um forgiver the point is you suddenly have the ability to forgive people for their flaws their bad days their unknown mo- uh, moments and their mistakes and the best thing about forgiveness is that you can apply it to yourself too have fun okay wielding your new power but re- remember with great forgiveness comes great inner peace. Okay. So I feel like you just being courageous to forgive someone that maybe you're never going to get apology about me forgiving those, you know, those girls that were picking on my, picking on my knees, realizing that if this is what they're doing, I can't imagine like the, the, the corruption, you know, and just the, the unpleasant scenery and space and energy that these these young girls were grown up in and what they are subject to, to really embody that energy on a daily basis. You get what I'm saying? So just find it to forgive, not for the person, but more so for yourself. Okay. Because if people are out here hurting people, if people are out here, like just not owning up to their, their shit and, and you know, just, Oh my goodness, believe me, that stems from our hurt place. That stems from a dysfunctional place. And the fact that you're able to see that, that should let you know just how healed you are, just how far you have come along. And that's why I always say leave space for grace. Okay. But invoke your courage. And I'm also hearing the courage to choose, the courage to stand in your truth, to not run away from your shadows, but to embrace them. Embrace the courage to seek what it is that you want for your life. To do what it is that you want to do. The courage to allow yourself to expand, to allow yourself to grow, to, you know, to to come out of your comfort zone, to come out of your box. To be who you are at your core. Okay. And also a choice we have peacefulness. To invoke your peace, I have a peaceful tranquility and untroubled heart, inner peace, okay? There is, there is no price. There is, there is nothing like inner peace, honey. There is no price that you could put on inner peace. It is quite amazing, okay? This is where I choose to spend my time. I can bring guests, but any person, thought, or event that brings drama or chaos is not invited. My heart is a special property and I'm going to keep it that way. Okay. Priority or property. Yeah. Keep it that way. So we can all keep enjoying it and I can get my security deposit back. (laughs) Okay. So I feel like with, with, with these choices that you're making to move away from people, places, situations, jobs, anything that invokes drama and chaos, okay? It might not be easy at first. It may take you to, um, you know, find courage because I feel like some of these things, it's outside of yourself, but also just family toxic. You know, the holidays are coming up, okay? Narcissists are real and family narcissists, whatever that word is, is very much real. And I feel like just the courage, just to move away from, you know, relationships and people and places and situations that are not serving you. Serious, um, spirit is saying, make it, um, a decision to, you know, put your happiness, your peace first. Cause sometimes we will, we will cancel out our peace. We will sacrifice our peace of mind. Okay. For everybody to be happy. But in the end, you're miserable when you didn't come here to live as everybody else. You came here to live with yourself. We will get into jobs and careers that do not serve us. And, you know, even if you're working a career or a job, it don't even matter. But get something that is a reflection of you. That's not going to stress you out. There are jobs out here, careers out here that were not going to stress you out. Moonlight. You know, that's one of the things with me I was thinking about because I really like fashion. Getting, you know, a job or a career as an assistant or something like I'm, I'm really been thinking about that lately because I do like fashion. I do like things like that. You know, there are different ways you can 
make money, you know, have money. There are jobs that you can enjoy, <laughs> okay? There, there are careers that you can enjoy and make good money. What will free you up to do other things, to, you know? There is multiple things. You don't have to confine yourself to one thing, okay? And if that thing is interrupting your, your peace, find the courage, okay, to move forward. Forgive yourself so you can come into something that is truly a reflection of you, okay? <laughs> so those are the channel things that Spirit wanted me to talk about for you guys. And also these cards wanted to come out right here. The moon reverse. We have the nine of wands. We have the star reverse and then we have the lovers. <laughs> We've been seeing a lot of the lovers and I feel like those are the desires of your heart. This lovers here, I'm just seeing that being the desires of your heart, okay? The desires of your heart, realizing that there's unlimited potential, okay? So this really rings true to what spirit is really wanting the beautiful soul that is watching this video to know in this moment, okay? We have two major arcanas. Being that they're reversed, it does not matter. There is something that you are desiring, something that has your heart. It, for some of you, it is a relationship, um, but also just the, the, the things that you want to cultivate in your life, the things that you desire, the things, things that, that you, you know are for you. What is that dream? What is that vision? What is that desire? What is that thing in your heart that you can't get away from? What is that thing that you're building the courage to seek? You know, that you're finding it in your heart to forgive, forgive somebody else, you know, in a love relationship or even with business. It don't matter. So something new can come in. This is why spirit wants you to claim. Spirit wants you to speak these things Whatever, whatever power, whatever card you found yourself Spirit in, wants you to know that you hold the power, that the choice is within you, okay? And with this moon reverse, with this star card reverse, two major arcanas, Spirit is wanting somebody to know in this very m moment that you have unlimited potential. Don't limit yourself to a certain outcome, Okay? Think bigger, think higher, all right? Know that nothing is outside of your reach. And the reason why I keep saying that is because nine times out of 10, the beautiful soul that I resonate with or whoever resonate is resonating with this video, okay? Listen, there is nothing wrong with small. You understand me? There's nothing wrong in um, taking baby steps, working it in between, figuring it out until you get to that bigger, However, you are not meant to stay small. And some people, come on, let's be real. Some people desire that, but that's their desire. That's the vision that they have for their life. But whoever I am talking to on a core level, okay, the common denominator is you were here for greatness. You were here to change the world radic radically. You were here to really stand in your truth, okay, and shine that fucking light and not be afraid in whatever form that is, okay? And what happens, the choices that you are making right now in this very moment, the choice to plant a seed of forgiveness, the choice to stand in your truth, the choice to embrace the ups and downs, the choice to really embrace all of you. You came here to love hard, okay, on an unconditional level. You came here to experience prosperity in its highest form in every area of your life, in your finances, in your career, and in, in your arts, in your crafts, in your family life, in your relationships. Like you came here in like intentionally to experience greatness in every single area of your life. So I will want you to know, you, my love, you, you right there, you didn't come here to play small and it's going to be some things that you have to do and some choices that you have to make, okay, to let that ego down, you know, to um, accept some truths, to communicate, to stand in your truth, to honor you, to honor your destiny, to honor your soul purpose, Okay. And I know, you know, <laughs> you know, that's going to have you step out 
of your comfort zone. But what I'm seeing right now is the nine of wands is just about endurance, okay? It's not completely the 10, you know, when um, it, it's just about like, you know, making it through, you know, like getting by almost in that energy, okay? I want to talk about what it means in this deck, but just the overall nine of wands energy. It's like endurance. You're in an endurance stage in your life, okay? And I feel like the more that you tap into your intuition because you're the moon, it represents mystery, but I always see the moon like the closest to the high priestess because even in this deck with the ancient, you know, like the ancient... Um, I would say Europe, <laughs> Egypt sign and stuff. The moon is all about psychic. It's all about the unknown. It's all about the mystery, okay? And spirit is saying it's 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 going to come a time and that time is now to really step into the unknown, step into the um, mystery, embrace, embrace all of it. What is it. Okay, like if you hear like a little, <laughs> like listen, my sister, she had a doctor's appointment and she asked me, could I, you know, watch my nephew while she goes to her doctor's appointment? I was like, sure, bring him. I I got it. <laughs> so like I'm on auntie duties and like I'm trying to like record and my my nephew it has his little pessy and he's like looking up like so tuned into the words that I'm saying like okay yeah that's some good stuff right there. <laughs> so that's that little here guys if you hear him I wish you guys to see it like I have like on the little swaddles around me it's so freaking cute but um that's that little noise that's him breathing okay just looking up eating up all this good stuff. But one of the things that I've really been, I don't know how I say like I'm out of the spiritual closet, but you know, I have a whole, you know, a whole channel of spirituality. I don't understand how I'm in the spiritual closet, but you know, one of the things that I was like, you know, in 2020, I'm just like all out because listen, I identify, we all have different things we identify. I identify myself as a witch. I am a witch, a woman in complete control of herself. And I really want to start to expand that and just to show that um, in a, a different light because it's truly beautiful when you realize the power that is inside of you and that your words hold weight, honey. And with man manifesting and candle work and all of these little wishy little things, honey, you know, <laughs> I've come to realize that my power is, baby, it's all spiritual for me, all spiritual with manifesting the life and creating my lifestyle and just different things. And that's one of the things that I have really been embracing in this gym and I, um, you know, full moon is just that, that part of me. I come from a, a, a my ancestors, women in my family were witches, you know, around the house chanting and all that stuff. And, you know, that used to freak me out and I used to be like really scared of it. Um, but really doing candle work and all of these things and just knowing who I am and knowing my beliefs and what, what I believe. And I felt like, a part of me was, uh, you know, a little nervous and a little scared to really embrace that part of myself. However, I have fully, you know, embraced it and not just like embrace it in the closet, y'all. <laughs> but like I plan to like expand and really show, you know, um, to show that more and just to, to, to show that experience. I feel like spirit is asking me to really show that you know, on a different level. We all have this inner power within ourselves. You know, you don't have to identify with the witch. You don't have to identify with any kind of name. Whatever feels good to you, that's the name that feels good to me. God is all different things, which is what works for me, baby. And I'm all of these things, queen. God is all of that and above. But that name is something that I've really been embracing, okay, with um, embracing that mystery and that whole that whole vibe that comes with that. You know, so I really feel like in this, you know, in this energy, in this moment right now, we're being asked to embrace, you know, um, the mystery because that's where, you know, these choices that you're making in the mystery is unlimited potential, unlimited potential. And it's all about the energy that you bring to something. It's all about the energy that you bring to your life. If you bring to your life, damn, here I, I never can cut a break. I never win. Dang. Guess what? That's the seeds and the energy that you're bringing to your life. So that's what's going to manifest. Okay. And that's just like, if you bring, you know what? I'm excited. I'm ready. I don't know where this is going, but I am trusting the universe. I am trusting God. I am trusting Allah. I am trusting the divine. I am trusting in myself. I am trusting all of the above. And I open up to unlimited potential of its positive nature to find me. 
Do you know what, just in those words, what you're speaking and inviting into your life, all the good shit, you grab me? So it's all about what you bring to it. And that's what spirit really wants you to grab in this moment. It's all about what you bring to it. Okay, the choices you make, that sets the tone and that sets the energy, that sets the flow of things. Okay, so remember your power. You are a powerful, beautiful, okay, soul. Because I love the star card in this deck. And truly, I love it reversed because it says the star reversed, inspired, the calm after a storm. Okay, it says the star reversed, inspired, calm, calm after a storm. It says even in reverse, the star card is a positive card. You may feel a bit hesitant to move forward with the project. Set aside some time to get inside your body with a yoga or meditation practice, okay? And the chakra that the star card represents is the crown white light. And this is all about your power to me, really tapping into that light. So listen, whatever happened was a blessing in disguise, okay? It truly, truly is is <laughs> so get excited my love for where your life is going okay and you in general i'm so proud of you so my love muffins and enchiladas i hope that this message has brought you clarity and understanding it was such an honor to deliver this message for you i hope you have an incredible day and i will catch you on my channel take care follow she blazing